the Isenheim Altarpiece by Matthias Grunwald. Imagine having Ebola, lung cancer, or pneumonia, and having to deal with the fact that you might die because of it. How would you make having this virus bearable knowing that you have a 90% chance of dying? In the 1500s, in the Isenheim Hospital, built by the Brothers of St. Anthony, there were peasants suffering from ergotism. Ergotism is a disease caused by consuming rye grain infected with fungus, which causes hallucinations, skin infections, and an attack on the central nervous system. Having this disease eventually led to their death. Peasants showed devotion to the Grunewald Octopus, and that was how the peasants coped with the fact that they were going to die. I will interpret my work through iconography and cultural studies. Here are a few facts about the Octopus before I explain the features of the painting. The painting, the Isenheim Octopus, was created by Matthias Grunewald in the early 1500s. This is an oil on wood painting. Its dimensions are 9 feet 9.5 inches by 10 feet 9 inches. This painting is located in the Unterlinden Museum in Colmar, France. This representational artwork depicts numerous biblical figures who flank Jesus Christ. The focal point of the painting. For starters, in the middle of the painting you see a brown cross with Christ hanging upon it. Christ's hands are symmetrically nailed to the cross. His feet are also nailed to the cross. Christ looks very thin. He has blood dripping from the side of his face down the right side of his body and below his feet. His arms are pulled out of his joints. He has a repetition of dots all over his skin, which looks like he has some type of skin disease caused by the plague. He has a dirty ripped up rag tied around his waist. He has the crown of thorns on his head. His facial expression looks corpse-like. This represents the crucifixion of Christ. Mary Magdalene, the Virgin Mary, and St. John the Evangelist flanks Christ on his right side. Mary Magdalene has orange clothing on. She is on her knees and her hands are crossed. She has twisted up fingers. Above Mary Magdalene is the Virgin Mary. As you can see, the Virgin Mary is overlapping St. John. She has white clothing on with black sleeves. Her face almost seems colorless. An implied line separates St. John and Mary as he holds her in his arms. St. John has red clothing on. His face is pale and he has blonde hair. All three of their faces look as if they are mourning. John the Baptist and the Lamb flanks Christ on his left side. John the Baptist has brown hair and a red cover up. He is holding a book and his finger is pointed towards Christ. Above John the Baptist's arm are words written in red. Next to him is a white lamb holding a cross. Next to the lamb is a gold cup. On the left wing of the painting is St. Sebastian. He has an orange cover up on his body. His face and body are pale. He has brown hair. His hands are crossed in the painting. He is standing on a three-dimensional gray pedestal and he is next to a gray column. Both the pedestal and column have leaf-like shapes on them. Behind him is a picture of angels. On the right side of the painting is St. Anthony Abbott. He has a red hat, white beard, and white skin. He is holding a silver staff and he is standing on a three-dimensional gray pedestal. He also has a column behind him. On the left side of him, there is a window. Outside of the window, there is a devil trying to break in. At the bottom of the altarpiece, Christ is being held by St. John. Christ has a white sheet under him. Christ still looks corpse-like, but he looks like he has been cleaned up. There is no longer blood on him. His cover-up no longer looks ripped or dirty. He no longer has the crown of thorns on. Christ has open wounds on his feet where the nails were impaled in his feet. The crown of thorns is at the bottom of his feet. Next to Christ is the Virgin Mary, another person in an orange rectangle. They are surrounded by nature. The nature includes trees and rocks which have moss on them. In the far back, there is a shape which looks like mountains. The painting has a local color scheme. Grunewald uses biblical figures from the Bible to make up the iconography of the painting. For starters, he represents Jesus Christ and the sacrifice he undergoes which came from the Bible. Jesus Christ was believed to be an incarnation of God, the Son, and the way to Messiah. He was a first century preacher and religious leader. In today's time, he is still seen as influential to many people and religions. The sacrifice represented Jesus dying for everyone's sins and a chance for everyone to have eternal life. In the painting, Jesus' suffering is represented. His body is marked up and bloody. 
The peasants in the hospital understood the visual of Christ because they could relate to Christ based on their own experiences. Next, you have the biblical figures Mary Magdalene, the Virgin Mary, and St. John, the evangelist, who were some of the mourners during the crucifix. Mary Magdalene was a sinner who became a saint. She gave the peasants at the hospital hope that when they died, even if they sinned, they could still be saved and could still be considered a saint. The people in the hospital gained hope that they could still be forgiven for their sins. The Virgin Mary is Christ's mother. In the painting, she is distraught by the crucifixion. Even though she is distraught, she still holds her hands in prayer, showing her faith. Mary represents faith to the peasants in the hospital. St. John was one of the first disciples called by Jesus. In the painting, St. John is supporting Mary while mourning his will. None of the mourners knew that Christ would be resurrected. On Jesus' left side is John the Baptist and the Lamb of God. John the Baptist was a prophet. He was the precursor of Christ. He asked people to repent for their sins. He also baptized people who apologized in the preparation for Christ to come back. Beneath him is the Lamb of God. The Lamb represents sacrifice. It signifies that sins can be terminated. Moving to the right wing of the painting, St. Anthony Abbott was a hermit saint who was tormented by devils. The disease, ergotism, was also known as St. Anthony's Fire. This relates to the peasants in the hospital because some of them obtained this deadly disease. On the left side is St. Sebastian. He was a plague saint and also a soldier. He was the saint you called on to save you from any plague. He also made sure you had a death where you received a sacrament. This related to the peasants because they were infected by the plague and worshiping the painting gave them hope that they could be saved or if they died, they received a sacrament. Grunewald also used objects and words to make up the iconography of the painting. For example, the wooden cross Christ hangs upon was similar to a pest cruise. The meaning of a pest cruise is a plague cross. The term plague cross can refer to a mark placed on a building occupied by victims of the plague. The hospital was occupied with many peasants who were infected by the plague. These pictures show how Grunewald painted Christ on the cross and how it was similar to a pest cruise. As I said before, Grunewald also uses words to make up the iconography of the painting. Above John the Baptist's arms are words written in red. The word states, he must increase, I must decrease. Note that the words are red. In the times of the plague, most of the doors of victims of disease were marked with a large painted cross that was in the color red or black. This shows that the color red can represent the plague. In conclusion, Jesus represents suffering and sacrifice. Mary Magdalene represents hope. The Virgin Mary represents faith. St. John represents support. The Lamb represents sacrifice. St. Anthony represents disease. St. Sebastian represents sacrament. And last but not least, the cross and the red writing represents the plague. This painting is how the peasants coped with the, with the fact that they were infected by the plague. And these are the reasons why they devoted to the painting. For my artwork, I drew a nude man who was infected by ergotism. Above his left side is a cross with light shining from it. As the light hits the man, it heals him from the disease. As you can see, when the light hits the man's chest, the skin infection begins to disappear. I outlined the infected side of the man with red because red was the color that represented the plague. Matthias Grunwald influenced my artwork because he created an influential painting that gave peasants infected by the plague hope. The artwork created by Grunewald is very inspirational to me. My challenge question is, what were the reasons that the peasants showed devotion to the altarpiece?